North Yorkshire, Mother Nature at her most beautiful, but she also has the power to heal. The important thing is that we've got to get back to something that people realised over and over again thousands of years ago, and that is the, the absolute wonder, complexity, integrity, wholeness of nature. James Fernley is passionate about natural medicine, so he established Nature's Laboratory in the seaside town of Whitby. He was joined by his daughter Cecily and son Hugo. Together they use science to champion natural medicine. When people are unsure about changing to alternative types of medicine, I find the best way is, is explaining to them the science behind it through the research. And it's this remarkable little insect that has such a big role to play in our own health, the humble honeybee. Bees make a sticky glue called propolis from plant resins. It keeps the hive free from harmful bacteria. It's been used by man as a medicine since Egyptian times. By working with leading scientists, spending half a million pounds on research and publishing numerous peer-reviewed papers, Nature's Laboratory has scientifically proven propolis is good for us too. Propolis is, uh, recently uh, Nature's Laboratory has worked with different uh, universities and it, we have found that it is not only a simple antibacterial agent, it has good antifungal activity, it has activity like uh, against MRSAs also. Propolis is used to help heal eczema, burns and scars. It's also said to protect against cancer and Alzheimer's. Pharmaceutical drugs work by attacking bacteria. Propolis disarms its enemy. You begin to understand that propolis as a whole product helps the body, the entire body, to develop a strong immune system and therefore be able to develop anti-inflammatory properties, antibacterial properties, antifungal properties, antioxidant properties and so on. Nature's Laboratory has a world-leading research and development team. They've come up with groundbreaking products used in everyday life, from antibacterial hand wash to mouth ulcer gel. This is propolis in its raw form, by making it soluble, they've developed this, propolis milk, sold in the Far East. The company is doing particularly well in Southeast Asia. It's obviously doing very well there because there's not the same mental blocks that we have in, in sort of Western Europe um, because there's just a continuous tradition um, of natural medicine. But attitudes are changing here. Jackie had a nasty sore on her ankle. I had a horrible sore patch on my leg um, and it lasted for several weeks before I found this cream and put it on for three days and after that time it just was just about better. Um, I think it's amazing stuff. Soon natural medicine will be tested to the same high standards as pharmaceutical drugs. Nature's laboratory is ahead of the game. It's obtaining pharmaceutical grade manufacturing status, has a new manufacturing unit, and for the locals in Whitby, there's the dispensary, allowing them access to seminars, workshops, and natural health practitioners. We're just trying to get a community-based approach to natural medicine from both the plant and the bee, and we really hope that once we've, once we've launched this locally, we'll be able to encourage people across the UK to take on the idea of the dispensary. Fundamentally, Nature's Laboratory and what we're doing here is about creating the scientific basis for natural medicines that they absolutely deserve. 80% of the world relies solely on natural medicine. Now James and his family are using science to prove what many have known for thousands of years.